In this video, I want to show you how you can send table data from your Power BI reports via email using Power Automate. I'm going to show you how to do it step by step so you can follow along as well. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let's go through this sample report that I prepared for you today. It is just one sales table. If I go through the table view here, it just shows you the total sales for a set of dates in a year. And here in my report view, I've visualized the table here um, with a couple of new columns here, month and day, along with the total sales and a slider up here that allows you to control the range in this table view. So now imagine you're a user and you want to filter the data or the total sales to just show the total sales for August. Um, so we'll do here, first of all, so we'll say, give me the data from the 1st to the 31st of August, it will give you the sales for those uh, days within the month and also the total underneath here. And now let's say you were given a task to send this tabular data via email, not the whole report itself, but just the table values for August. And in normal circumstances, you can use the subscription method in the Power BI service, which allows you to send reports via email. But the problem with this is that it only sends you the data, let's say via image or PDF or a PowerPoint. Um, but in this case, we want to send the tabular data, not an image file and we don't want to send the whole report just that specific table that we have here so how would you do that so to fill in this gap we can use power automate so to do that first let's add a new power automate button here uh, and if you're using the latest versions of power bi this should be available to you as well so here it will let you create a button that triggers some tasks without leaving Power BI, but it's pretty much uh, Power Automate within the Power BI desktop um, view. So the first couple of things that we'll ask you is we'll ask you to add data. So in this case, we want to give the total sales. Um, so the first thing that it will ask you is we'll ask for data. So in this case, we want to send the columns within our total sales table right here. So now here, what we'll do is we will give it our year, we'll give it the month, day, and also total sales. So we're excluding the date because we don't have that in this table, but you can add that too, doesn't matter. And the next thing is to uh, click the ellipsis and hit edit here. So this will allow you to hook up actions based on this button. So from here, we can create a new cloud instant cloud flow which will allow you to add some actions once the power bi button is clicked now uh, if you click new step so from here you can add a new operation now for the operation that we have here we'll need to use something called the select so this one if you click uh, on the info here it selects the specified properties from all elements of the from array into a new array now, if you're not familiar with that jargon, don't worry, just follow me step by step and you'll get exactly what it does. So we'll click select and first it asks for a from and you'll see all of these values are uh, mandatory. So the from would be the, uh, the array that uh, is just a collection of things, right? So in this case, you'll just want to look for something called the Power BI data. So this will allow you to uh, interact with the Power BI data in tabular form. So just select that. And under maps is where you'll create your column value pairs that you want to select from your data. So in this case, we want the year, month, day, and total sales. So we'll first create the name of the column. And on the value, we will look for the year. So you'll see it's denoted here, Power BI data year. If you click that, it will add it to that uh, table. We'll do the same thing for the month, for the day, and for the total sales. 
So month will be month, day will be day, total sales would be total sales. So now that we've selected that, we'll save and we'll create a new step. So from here, we'll need to create the HTML table that will attach to our uh, email. So we'll type HTML here. And here again, we have something called create HTML table. If you click on the info icon here, it just creates a HTML table. So pretty bog standard. And you'll see we can add the from here. And if I just select on the text box, you will see that it will suggest me something called the output. So the output is essentially what we've just done from that select uh, operation just above it. So I'm saying whatever value you have selected on that operation, have the output be created as a HTML table. So pretty easy. Now, the last step that we need to add here is now the sending of the email itself. Now from here, uh, we'll just type email. So we need to use send an email and we'll specify who to send it to. So we will just uh, send it to my email address. And we can add a subject here. So we'll say total sales for August. And what we can do is we can add sort of dynamic content on any of these places um, in case we want to uh, add some more detail about this email itself. So let's say we want to add a timestamp of when this flow was triggered. And in the body of the email, uh, we can add text. Uh, and the main important thing that we want to add is the output itself. So now that that's done, we'll just hit save. Uh, well, let's just rename this with something that is more descriptive so that we know to refer to it next time uh, when button is clicked send table via email save and apply so now that's saved we now have um, a flow that will create a table from the data that we have selected and send it via email. So let's go back to our report here and you'll see that now we have a button that we can use. So let's just put it at the bottom here. And I'm just gonna rename the text. So we'll just say uh, send to email, which is uh, a bit more descriptive than just run float. And there you have it. So I think everything is set up. So what we'll do, uh, so we've selected just the August months here on our table and we're gonna click send to mail now that it's triggered there. First, let's verify that the flow actually ran. So I'm gonna go to the flow here on the website. So you can just type uh, Power Automate and log in using the same credentials that you have logged in on your Power BI desktop under your flows, my flows, you should be able to find the flow that we've created. So here you can see uh, under the run history when we have triggered that, uh, that, that flow, and you'll see that it succeeded. So here you go, you'll see that your operations all ran successfully and it gives you some details like how long it took to run, which uh, is not a problem uh, at this point. So now let's check my email to see if that data has been received. So here we are on my personal email and you can see that uh, we did indeed receive that email. You'll see that the name, the subject that we have and also the timestamp that we have added, which is this. But you'll see it's a little bit wrong. <laughs> so I think we'll just try to fix that uh, quickly. Um, so what it's done is it's summarized the columns that we have. Uh, added into the button itself. So it doesn't really give us the correct values. Um, and if we go back here, you'll see um, if you click the button under some of these, you will have it's been summarized. So just click done summarize. If you have this problem, just make sure everything is not summarized. And then let's trigger it again. 
So here you have it. So here now you have a version of your table in Power BI converted into a HTML table and then sent to you via email using Power Automate, which is really awesome. And that's really it for this video. I hope it helped you understand how easy it is to start sending tabular data from your Power BI reports using the Power Automate visual. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.